morning everybody this is Kay Greeny here and I have all my gear set out that I think I might like to take I a little background I've been backpacking since 2015 and you know I needed a hobby need something to get away I was working really <laughs> really hard at school I'm a school teacher I've been teaching for I guess I just I'm just finishing up my 24th year and uh, this last year wearing the masks and trying to do Zoom at the beginning and it's just been um, pretty mentally exhausting. So at the end of the school year, I'm going to take off from Harper's Ferry and hike as far as I can get this summer and see how I'm feeling. If, you know, Lord willing, we'll see. It's always been my dream to hike the whole Appalachian Trail. So starting June 5th, Lord willing, I'm gonna start in Harper's Ferry. And if you want to follow my journey, I'd love to have you along. Just know that I wear my emotions on my sleeve and I'm a strong um, believer. I love Jesus with all my heart and Father, Son, Holy Spirit. They're all, all in one and they all live in me. So I'm grateful to have this opportunity to do this this summer and thankful for the support I get at home. So I'll now show you some of my gear. All right, I'm gonna start by showing you my big three. So this sleeping bag, it's not um, compressed. So it's actually not a sleeping bag, it's a quilt that opens up. It's my first time to try a quilt and I haven't even used this yet. So it will condense and fit in this Exped Notch Nozzle Pump Bag. So this blows up my air mattress and will also be waterproof, keep my, my quilt dry. That has gone down. I have a list of what I had. I had a Kelty Cosmic down. It's the budget bag. They recommended at the beginning when I started through hiking. Well, I'm not through hiking when I started hiking in 2015. And then I narrowed it down to a Catabatic. So shaving off over 20 ounces, I guess. So that's pretty awesome. Then my tent is the Z-Pax Duplex tent. And I've used it several times. I love it. So it was perfect. And this is my backpack. It's a hyper light mountain. I think it's hyper light mountain. Hyper light mountain gear. Yep. So, and those are my big three. Now already in my pouches, I have some gloves. I carry a piece style. So it's easy for me to use the bathroom. And in this one, I think I have my drinks, my drink powders, my vitamin C powders, super food powder, stuff like that. And let me just go to the rest of my sleeping situation. So I have an X-Ped Sin Light mat. I believe that's what that is. Sleeping pot X-Ped Sin Mat Hyper Light. And I have the X-Bed pillow. And they blow up with this schnozzle pump. Pump bag. I have a um, bug net because I don't like the pesky bugs bother me. It gets me all freaked out. I know, I like, I wear this. This is a high tail designs fanny pack. I like the ease of access of my phone. And I have this extra, this is a cut down the Mares Z light because I like to use it underneath my air pad just so I well, thorns and things I just don't want to damage my air mattress I do have Tyvek if right here that I'm bringing if I need if I stay in a shelter and I don't have my tent I have this is my puffy which is not down it's synthetic and it is a torrid apex I guess it's enlightened equipment. It was on sale clearance, so it's a guy's model. Fits a little differently, but it works. So my clothing will go in this green bag. I've narrowed it down to these shoes, Hoka Speed Goats. They are amazing and I have inserts. I've originally used Super Feet and now I'm using Power Step because I had some physical therapy and had a podiatrist and they helped me narrow down to those and that's been great I do have rain 
really light rain pants and a raincoat. Um, I forget what those are called, what I ended up getting for my rain gear. Um, I do have a Paca, which I love. It's um, pretty cool. I guess more important in the colder weather that you keep dry than the summer. So I'm not really sure about that or not. I do have an umbrella. Sorry. An umbrella. I got the six moons designs silver shadow so i'm excited about that for the sun blocking in the warm weather and you know i just i guess it doesn't matter so much if you get wet when it's warm it's my trekking poles just standard i think black diamonds i have a neck knife just to cut my summer sausage if i have or if i need it and for self-defense if i need it I have some miscellaneous feminine product bags. I have water filtration system. This is that's my go-to bag. And this is my bathroom bag. Yeah. And I have a mini Jet Boil Mini Mo. <laughs> and yeah, it's not the ultra light, the go-to stove people use. It's kind of like happy camper stove instead of backpacker stove but it works so I'm just going to keep going with it until it doesn't work anymore then I'll get something else so I carry two bottles uh one's going to be for my I got some green powder I'm going to have hopefully daily to keep healthy and strong and I got just my water bottle and I have a backup collapsible water thing this is if I have to scoop water and I got lots of food in here, ready for my trip, and see how that goes with my bear canister. Uh, I never did carry a bear canister before. In fact, it was a hard decision because it's two extra pounds and I've narrowed down everywhere else. So, I, yeah, crazy. I decided to go with that because my husband and I, on one of our trips, we got the food bag with the stove stuck up in a pine tree and we couldn't get it to come down it was a nightmare so what do you do when you're middle of the woods and all your food and your stove is stuck in the tree you don't just carry a ladder so that was scary and now i've decided maybe the two extra pounds is worth it we'll see so i don't have to bother hanging the food bag which takes time and you don't always have the right trees and uh you don't feel like doing that at the end of the day that's a lot of explanation i have sleep shorts here a buff that I wear often, um, backup underwear, a wash rag, some a washcloth. Might get rid of that. These are just optional. And I have another uh, replace a town shirt, maybe. It's another. Or I have this camp shirt that I might bring. So I don't believe I got down. I wear toe socks. I don't believe I showed you this. I wear toe socks on underneath my darn tough socks which has been awesome, and I don't get blisters anymore, so I'm going to attribute it to that, because that was recommended, and of course I wear my hat, and this bracelet is to help me remember that this journey is fairly selfish, to be honest, and it's a dream of mine, and I know God gives me passion for things, and I want to remember that he's first, and that I'm second, so my life is about honoring him so if he has a different mission for me i will bail for it because i want to obey him so as i said let's uh, look around i guess i didn't maybe didn't tell you about this is my electronics bag it has a uh what is it called a power bank and a headlamp i am not very good with directions although i have got hooks on my phone that shows me where i'm at but I also just got, I couldn't find a used Garmin InReach Mini. So I got a new Garmin InReach Mini. Very expensive and you have to buy a data plan. But in case I get off the trail for some reason, I won't be lost in the wilderness. Because my sense of direction is not the greatest. I must just say I'm good at other things. So I don't believe I showed you my shoes. These are Hoka's. Absolutely feel like walking on clouds. The first time I tried a Hoka after I hurt my ankle. And I had a podiatrist in physical therapy. They got me into some, some hocus. And it's, I've not gone back. And I use the insert. I used to use super feet. The green super feet. But now I use power step. 
so these are a brand new pair because the one I'm currently wearing it already has a lot of miles on it not necessarily on trail but life miles and uh yeah I believe I've gone through everything here uh, there's my camp shoes and there's my dog <laughs> yeah and that should be about all I guess so I plan to leave at the end of the school year and see what happens very nervous I guess I was going to share about my whys uh so I have my I don't know if you can see it's my why and I really want there are many reasons why I really want to hike the Appalachian Trail in a year. Yep, crazy. I guess the biggest why on my list has to do with why I like backpacking so much to begin with. So, I am through hiking the AT because of these reasons. So, when I go backpacking, I do feel close to God. Like, I sense this presence all around me when I'm hiking. It gives me time away from the high demands of my profession. And it gives me time to de-stress, as I mentioned earlier. I'm pretty exhausted from teaching, let alone the fact that this year has emotionally put some uh, baggage on me that I need to shake off with regard to mask wearing and just how that all Im impacted me and the students I teach. Anyway, backpacking is rewarding, conquering miles. I love hiking distance. Traveling new miles is so cool to me. So, um... I always want to slow down the pace of my daily life because I don't want to get lost in busyness. My mind is a jumbled mess. You maybe notice I'm so scattered when I talk. And so it'll be great for me to unwind and find clarity again. I like being minimalistic, although you might see I have a lot of stuff with me. It does. It is very simplified for my life. Basically, you hike, get to camp, set up, eat, clean up, rest, and repeat. Um, I love the feeling of my muscles, of turning over in the middle of the night, stretching to feel sore, the sore used muscles. So, like, it's kind of weird. Most people don't like the sore muscle feeling, but it, I'm using them, so I feel good about it. When I read through journals about hikers making it to the summit of Katahdin, I seriously get chills and tears in my eyes. What a sense of accomplishment. I want to do that. And... Uh, these are all my whys. Probably all the people in my life do not believe I can do it. So I really want to, for me and for them. I know it will be more mental than physical, which is saying a ton, because hiking the AT is physically very hard. Lots of ups and downs. But I'm super passionate about things, and when I get the fear for something, I have this God-given strength to do it. So, on the other hand, I am completely an intense, emotional, and sensitive person. And fear that this adventure will be too hard by myself. No one near me wants to attempt this feat. So I will be solo. And that may be the end of me on the trail. So I'm praying now that God would maybe help me find a few friends along the way. I love being a mom. And not seeing my children at length will crush my heart. I mean they are pretty grown up now. My youngest is... Um, 17 and he's ending his junior year in high school so the other two are outside of out of school already and they're not even living here right now so um anyway so I love adventure I think entering towns resupplying eating at new places experiencing the miracle of how God provides on the trail will be an ultimate adventure and I know I only live once when I turned 40, which was several years ago, I felt like half my life was over, of course. That is, if I lived a disease-free, accident-free life, which I know is not a guarantee, but a great blessing. Anyway, I want to live while I am still able. So then you were supposed to, someone gave advice on the trek, I believe. Yeah, on the trek, it's the Appalachian Trail site and other trail, long distance trail site, but they said make a list of when you succeed, how you will feel, um, if you give up, how you will be, and then your pre-trail emotions. Okay, so I did not know, oh my word, like that this would happen. This is, okay, so you're supposed to do this six months before takeoff. So I felt like God gave me a date of 2-22-2022. 
Yeah, but this last minute thing came upon us and there's lots of things wrapped up into that. But uh, I know God has me on a specific mission. He hasn't given me direction exactly what that is yet. So I feel like maybe the door's opened. And I've, so basically I said, okay, God, this decision affects many people. I'm willing to lay the stream down to do a different mission for you other than hiking this trail. So I'm waiting on God's redirection through till the day I leave. So June 5th, if God wants me to do something else, I will. And this is just some ideas what I'm going to keep in my journal every day, my blog. Um, start with a Bible verse, some morning thoughts, any highlights to the day with my emotions, any physical issues, anything critters I see. Something I maybe learned or proud of or thought for the day and then maybe end with some photos from the day. And I have a lot of quotes that are so inspiring to me. And I'll just probably pull these out and read these as I go. So, in any case, thanks for <laughs> allowing me to humor you and for sticking with me. So this is Kay Greeny packing up her stuff into her bag and we'll see where the journey takes me.